So as part of getting ready to go on vacation, I have filmed a ton of videos. And at this point in time, I honestly have no clue where they're going to post, when they're going to post. It might look a little out of order. And hey, I ain't going to keep track of so much, right? Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. Hope you're having a great day today. This is the last time you'll see the test plot green. We're gonna renovate it, turn it into Kentucky bluegrass. Now, Saturday this week, uh, I'm taking my family on vacation. We're going down to the beach, and I know, you know, it's typical for a lot of families. It's summertime, you like to get away and, you know, kind of go relax and get in the water and play with the fish and eat and eat and eat some more. And then when you get done eating, you go eat again, right? As you can tell, I'm no stranger to food. Now, the whole week leading up to this, I kind of been preparing the property, doing some things here and doing some things there, trying to get things ready for the vacation. And to be completely honest with you, the only reason I do it is so I don't have quite so much on my plate when I get back. I try not to take my work with me on vacation. So we have had some really heavy rains the past one to two weeks. Obviously it's gonna be growing pretty good with this much rain. And I put it off and put it off all week and waited till the very last day before we leave so that one of the last things I do in the yard is actually mow it. Now typically when I go on vacation, I continue right on with my four to four and a half inch height of cut. But this time's a little different simply because we've had so much rain here lately. So I took it down to three and a half. I had to double cut it to clean it up best I can. And even at that, the turf is so stinking thick that it still left a little bit of mess in the yard. But that wasn't a big deal because I simply took my blower and went over the entire yard and just kind of blew the debris and scattered it around and left the yard clean. And a couple of days before I cut my grass, I had to cut my neighbor's yard because you know I'm responsible for that this year. I told them I would take care of it the entire season. So with that said, I need to treat their yard just like I treat my own. So I give it a good clean cut, but I did cut it a few days earlier in the week simply because their yard isn't growing quite as fast as mine is. Disease pressure is incredibly high right now. We've had lots of overcast days with very little sunshine and the humidity I just can't get over how sticky it is right now. I was able to get my neighbor's fungicide application done and I got my own done. And of course I went around and gave my flowers a really good watering and soaked them down really well. Even though we've had a lot of rain, these pots on the patio tend to dry out a little quicker, so I had to give him a good shot of water. Now, one thing I do when I go on vacation is the neighbor's kid across the street, I give him 20 bucks, and he waters my flowers for me two days during the week that I'm gone. And last but not least, I sprayed my test plot. So I'll try not to break down sobbing profusely and crying like a child who's had their milk taken away from them. When I come back, more than likely the test plot will be completely brown and toast. The fescue should smoke off pretty easily. I'm telling you what, man, I have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed uh, that turf back there, all the mowing I've done back there, all the learning I've, I've been able to learn from that grass and kind of sad in a way, but, but then again, I'm, I'm, I am excited. Don't get me wrong. I'm excited. I'm excited to get some bluegrass back there. So there you go. That's kind of what I do when I go uh, right before I go on vacation. So get your grass cut, get your weeds cleaned up. And if you do any disease control and you live in an area where you have high disease pressure, uh, get that fungicide down before you go. And I've actually uh, kind of reverse timed it, meaning my last application, my previous application before this one, I timed it so that it would run out about this week. And that way I was sure to be able to 
get down a fungicide application before I left because I didn't want you know me to be away on vacation when my coverage kind of lapsed or whatever. Uh, sounds like insurance talk, don't it? I got all that done and I'm ready to go in here and eat and take a shower and go to bed and get up because I got to drive. So uh, technically I'm off work now. Check you later.